When it comes to the start of labor, there is one main factor that is in charge of all the processes that happen in your body. Mm -hmm. And that's your labor hormones, particularly oxytocin. Yes. So in this video, we are first going to tell you three ways how you can create a better environment in your body to produce and utilize more oxytocin. Yes, and once you have created that environment, you can then apply the seven methods to increase the level of oxytocin in your body that we are going to share with you in this mm -hmm. video. Mm -hmm. This is Natalie, a pregnancy and birth consultant and TCM therapist. And that's Matthias, a researcher and science geek. And on this channel, we help expecting mummies naturally and science-based. We're happy that you watching this and now let's get started. Before we start, as always when it comes to anything related to your pregnancy, please talk to your provider first before you try anything that we mention in this video, okay? Also please note that the things that we teach in this video cannot make you go into labor as long as your body is not ready for labor. Yeah. This will only work at the end of your pregnancy once your body is ready. Yes, now the first step to increase the level of oxytocin in your body is to create a better environment in which your body is able to do so. Mm -hmm. So what does this mean? Mm -hmm. Well, in order to be able to produce oxytocin and also to utilize that oxytocin, your body requires certain nutrients. The first one is vitamin C. Yes, scientists found that the production of oxytocin depends on vitamin C. Luckily, there are many fruits and vegetables which contain vitamin C. Examples are strawberries, mangoes, oranges, kiwi fruit and cherries on the one hand and broccoli, spinach, potatoes, tomatoes and green and red peppers on the other hand. Right, the second nutrient that your body requires in order to produce and utilize oxytocin is vitamin vitamin D. Scientists found that vitamin D plays an important role in the regulation and function of oxytocin mm -hmm. in the body. Luckily, your body is able to produce vitamin D from the sun, right? Yes. However, this may not be enough, particularly not during winter, right? And so it can be important to add vitamin D to your diet, for example, by eating fatty fish such as salmon or tuna, but also beef liver, egg yolk or fortified products such as tofu or certain cereals. And by the way, if you want to know exactly how much vitamin D your body needs during your pregnancy, please bear with us because we are going to talk about this later in this video. Yes, and then the third nutrient that your body requires is magnesium. Actually, magnesium is not so much used to produce oxytocin. Instead, the receptors of oxytocin on your uterus require magnesium in order to be able to utilize the oxytocin that your body produces, right? right. So where can you get magnesium from? Well, you can find it in nuts like cashews, almonds, peanuts and pumpkin seeds if you can eat nuts, mm -hmm. but also banana, avocado and dark chocolate. Right, so again, if you want to make sure that your body is able to increase oxytocin levels and even more importantly, is able to utilize them, then you have to make sure that your body gets those nutrients, mm -hmm. right? And with those nutrients as a basis, you can then try the following seven ways to increase your oxytocin levels in your body. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you are very well aware of the first method and that's sex. Yes, most people believe that sex can help increase the level of labor hormones because semen contains prostaglandins, right? However, sex can also increase the level of oxytocin in your body. Yeah, exactly. And not only sex, touch in general is a super effective way to release more oxytocin at the end of your pregnancy. In fact, oxytocin is often called the cuddle or love hormone mm. and that's for a reason, <laughs> right? So a cuddle can be enough, but if you want to get a serious dose of oxytocin, then you get a massage treatment. Yes, the advantage here is that a massage treatment can not only help increase oxytocin levels, it can also lower cortisol levels in your body, mm -hmm. which is a stress hormone. In fact, both hormones affect each other. Yeah. If one goes up, the other one goes down and vice versa, at least under normal circumstances, right? Exactly, but touch-wise, the most effective way to increase oxytocin levels is nipple mm -hmm. stimulation. In fact, it was shown in scientific studies that nipple stimulation can induce labor in women, mm. at least under certain circumstances, particularly if their cervix is soft. Exactly. Right? The next super effective way to increase oxytocin levels is chamomile tea. 
Chamomile is well known for its ability to relax the body. In fact, according to scientists, chamomile can help the body produce enough oxytocin to put us in a relaxed state and thus reduce stress and anxiety. Just keep in mind that as always, Overdoing it is not the best idea. Yeah. However, one cup per day won't hurt. Right. The next very effective way to increase oxytocin levels is exercising. There are both animal and human studies which came to the conclusion that exercising can increase oxytocin levels. Mm -hmm. That said, please avoid very intense workouts. Go for low impact workouts only. In fact, a 30 minutes walk in the nature can already be enough. Right? Exactly. The next very effective way to increase oxytocin levels, believe it or not, is socializing. Scientists found that enjoying your time with family and friends and positive social interactions in general can considerably increase oxytocin levels. If possible, try to meet up in person because the eye contact and the opportunity to hug and touch each other should not be underestimated. Exactly. Now, interestingly, because we were talking about the importance of touch, uh, interestingly, the same also works with pets. So cuddling your pets, touching them, looking them into their eyes or playing with them can increase oxytocin levels. Yes, and just a side note, all those things can also increase the oxytocin levels of your pet. Right. So both of you are going to benefit from it. Right. <laughs> and then another approach to increase oxytocin levels is music. Music, particularly slow music, has the ability to calm your brain by increasing oxytocin mm -hmm. levels. And it does not matter if you listen to music, sing along or produce your own music, all of that can help. Except when I hear you sing in the shower. This does not increase my oxytocin levels. <laughs> but I can actually understand that. But since you mentioned that, here is a funny side note. Listening to music can also help you increase your oxytocin levels if you don't like the music. Really? So my singing does help you. In a way. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> please keep in mind again that the basis for this to work is a nutritional basis in your body, right. right? And so if you want to know which kinds of nutrients your body and also your baby need during your pregnancy and also how much of it, then we invite you to watch the video that pops up now. Mm -hmm. And as always, you can also find the link to this YouTube video in the description below this video. Right. Thanks so much for watching this video. We hope you found it helpful and if you did, we would be super grateful if you could leave us a like below this video. Yes, and for more useful tips and tools on pregnancy and baby related topics, make sure to subscribe to our channel and do the bell.